After a breakup, what are the rules when it comes to an old present that your ex gave to you? Oh, Ooh, that's uh, sensitive, bro. I don't know how much is it worth. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Like, that's a good question. <laughs> good question. Like, Alexis, if they gave you some beautiful gold necklace, oh. do you sell that? Oh. Do you keep it? Do you do some ceremonial type oh. event where you eat it and then 12 to 14 hours later you flush away all memories of yeah. them? Oh, <laughs> Manifest some good vibes. Yeah. I don't know how really? women go about it. I think that would manifest other things that oh. you don't. Yeah. A plumber um, later. But one of our listeners like decided to yeah. hold on to a birthday gift from his ex for years, Oof, waiting really? for the right opportunity to use it for revenge. Oh. And that moment finally happened. It is petty. It is hilarious. <laughs> and you're going to yes. hear it in a brand new mass speaker coming up at 710. You don't know me. Confession I can't take back. I am the masked speaker. Got a text 78592 that says, if I see someone's park their big expensive car over the line so no one can use the space next to them, oh my gosh. I will do everything I can to try and squeeze into that spot. <laughs> no. No. My record is six minutes of careful maneuvering oh, wow. where I had to climb out through my moonroof. Oh. But it was worth it. Oh, my God. That oh. is commitment. That is next level yes. petty. I love it. Yes. I love it. But if you're not that <laughs> intense and you want to just be mid-level petty, you can come on this segment and share your evil misdeeds right here on The mass Speaker. Okay. And we have a listener who's ready to climb out the moonroof of his life. He's chosen to go by the name Preston today. So, Preston, welcome to the show. Hey, guys. What's going on? Hey. hey. Not much. Just here with you, Preston. How are you feeling? Well, I'm doing okay. Okay. Nice. Okay. You don't We're... seem like crazy nervous. Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess we'll wait till the confession happens. That's true. Then we'll jump to our conclusions. That's but the true. voice changer is on. You are the mass speaker, Preston. Whenever you're ready, let's hear your confession. Okay. So I used to date a woman who owned a pizza place. Ooh. Oh, that's oh, awesome. lucky you. Yeah. Pizza and breadsticks. I want to date her. The benefits alone. <laughs> My yeah. God. Works ready. <laughs> well, yeah, but the relationship was. Definitely not perfect. Oh, okay. What relationship is? No. You know? no. But what relationship comes with free pizza? I mean, <laughs> I feel like that is I could co- take a lot more. That's yeah. as close to perfect as you can yeah. get. But <laughs> sorry, it wasn't your best relationship, man. Yeah. It wasn't the best. Kind of up and down, hot and cold type situation. Right. Um, yeah. But after about a year, we broke up. And uh-huh. this is when I found out that she had cheated on me. Ooh. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Several times. Oh, God. Uh, How do people God. do it once, let alone over and over? Why do you got to learn all about it? Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, yeah. You know a lot, bro. It's already over. I feel <laughs> like, I mean, how did you find out? Well, that's the thing is that she told me. Okay. Oh, oh, finally came clean. She told me that she didn't feel bad about it. Oh, oh what? wow. Okay. Why didn't she feel bad? Dang. Well, she said that every time she'd come home from work, I'd be asleep or something would always come up and yeah. we'd never get time together. Yeah. She'd give you an excuse to cheat, but no. okay. Yeah, I'm it's- kind of on her side on that one. Oh. Shouldn't have fallen asleep, <laughs> but you know what? It's okay. <laughs> Because you never sleep, Jeff. Yeah, you know, f- five-hour energies, but yeah. what, it's okay. <laughs> you're too tired. I get it. So she cheated because your schedules were off? She cheated because the schedules were off, and she got bored very easily, I think. Uh, oh, all right. Okay. I'm well, sorry, man. That's good. Nice. Yeah. You don't want to yeah. be with someone like that, no. right, brother? She's not a one-topping type of lady. Mm. <laughs> yeah, she likes the Supreme, that's yeah. for sure. Well, <laughs> while we were still together, she had given me a birthday present, which was a gift-wrapped shoebox. Huh. Filled with hundreds of coupons for free pizza at her store. Oh, oh. So cool. I'm glad it had something inside of the shoebox yeah. and it wasn't just a, yeah. an She's empty shoebox. Like, Your shoe job box. is to fill these shoes <laughs> for me. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, that's a cool gift. It was a cool gift because that way I could you know, walk in at any time and get myself free pizza. Right. right. Like, like a buy nice. one, get one. I know. Or... Like, obviously, when she's there, she's the owner, she'd yeah. give you one, but like, yeah. she wouldn't always be there. Exactly. So, what does that have to do with anything, though? Well, after we broke up, I never wanted to go back to her pizza shop. Right. Yeah. That yeah. would be obviously way too weird to see her again. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Totally. But for some reason, I held on to the box of coupons. Okay. Oh, for the free pizzas? 
I wasn't really sure why I kept them. I just didn't feel right throwing them all away. You could give them out as presents. You could re yeah. them to other people. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, everybody knows it's your ex-girlfriend's yeah. pizza place. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Especially when you have so many. Yeah. Okay. I tossed them in the closet for a year and forgot about them. Um, okay. Because I got a new job working front desk at a hotel downtown. Uh-huh. All right. All right. What'd you do with them? Well, the thing, sometimes we'll get super annoying guests coming to stay with us who complain way too much and oh, yeah. are just rude to the staff and yep. talk down yeah. to us a lot. Yep, we all know the people. Yeah, those yep. people. Some of them are in this room right oh, now, no. so <laughs> we're, we're very intimately known with those. Wow. Well, yeah. Everybody looked at one person. Yeah. What? <laughs> I am so nice to people. I never said the person. Okay, yeah. all right. So, okay, yeah, that, anyway, deal with some annoying dumb. guests. Yeah, so whenever we get people like that, I'll give them one of the free pizza coupons to her restaurant <laughs> while they're at the desk. That okay. is such petty revenge. <laughs> so they're yelling at you, and you're like, here's a coupon for a pizza. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's actually brilliant. <laughs> because a local shop. The thing is, then they become happy with you yeah. and can go to her restaurant and take all their rage out there. They can yeah. carry out all they want. Uh-huh. Is that your plan? That actually, yeah. I mean, it's basically <laughs> send them there so my ex has to deal with them and give them free pizza. Oh. Yeah. And you're smoothing over your own situation. Oh, I love yeah. that. And she, she can't even make any money off of them no. because she has yeah. to give out the food for free. Oh, and you know those type of people don't tip. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's great because I don't think she knows if it's, you know, me hand them out, but I kind of hope she figures it out, though. Well, yeah. she hears this, even though your voice is masked, I'm sure she'll yeah. put two and two together. Yeah, she's like, Annie didn't even even say my pizza company name. <laughs> but I'd at least get free advertisement no, out of this. No, ain't doing that. And you don't sound like you feel guilty about that at all. Oh, no, I get so much joy. Imagine how angry she must yeah. be. Yeah. <laughs> I think we all back you on that one. Yeah. Hey, tell us offline. I'll go leave her a bad Yelp review, okay? Oh. Or send us a few of those free pizza coupons, okay. and we'll go and there take some uh, free food from her, too. We can make that happen. All right. Okay. All right, <laughs> okay. sweet. I love some harmless petty revenge. That's right. Always. Great. So text in 78592 <laughs> if you have a confession that you've been holding on to or some free food you want to send our yeah. way. We can hide your identity, mask your voice, and make you the next mass speaker. <laughs> Your phone tap's coming up next.